Hey everyone, so I have just gotten the Ninja DBX and I was planning on giving you guys a comparison between the original Ninjago Pythor minifigure and the new Pythor minifigure. Now, um, of course there's lots of differences. Um, Pythor was devoured by the Great Devourer, so he is obviously much different now. He was purple, but now he is white. And he, um, just lots of, um, different, um, yeah, he just looks much different. Okay, so, the two figures, obviously, there's, the shape is exactly the same. The Pythor minifigure shape did not change, it's the same molds on his head, so his head mold is actually the same exact thing. So it's, I know people have not liked the, uh... His mouth wide open and all that stuff, you know, it just doesn't seem right for the figure. I honestly don't mind it, but as you can see there, it is the same. But um, here is the original. Here's the original figure. Um, the, and they kind of messed up a tiny bit for this part right here, because um, of his black arms. When in the show, he had purple arms for the first season. But again, here is the mold. So it's the same for the new one. And then there is the printing for that Pythor here. And then the printing on the back. Again, he's the, this form, he is purple. So this is from Season 1, Rise of the Snakes, when he's trying to get the Fang Blades. And now here is the new one. The new, brand new Pythor minifigure. So, um, again, I'm just going to show you both the figures and then I uh, will... Um, compare them a little bit more. Okay, so here is the Pythor, new Pythor minifigure for Ninjago 2015. And again, as you can see, this figure is a little newer, so it's kind of tighter. The same mold again, but you can see he's got the little purple printing on him there because he was changed, his color was changed due to being in the Devourer. But again, as you can see, it is Pythor. And the body is different because he is designed to have a um, anachondri sort of suit on his body instead of the normal one that he had on the other one. So his actual normal printing on his body is not like rebooted. He has a suit on, but as you can see there, the body, the whole piece there on the tail piece and all that is white now. He's got the purple there and purple hands. And again, the, the new suit is kind of covering the back of his body there. But, um, you can see there, lots of different, like, colored pieces for this body, but they're still the same figure. Still the same, um, character, obviously. And mold on the head and all that stuff. So, here is that new one. And here is the old one. And you can see there, the old printing on this one. But, now, you can still see his gem sort of thing there. But... It is covered sort of is surrounded by a um, suit for the tournament of elements or whatever he had as you would have seen the episodes um, the last two episodes he was in um, for the tournament so you can see there is obviously obviously similar is like the design the shape or like the, the the spots where his design is it's all in the same areas and all that but it's a totally different color all of his like um, special designing on it is like the little um, just his printing, it's just all different. Most of his printing on his body now is not like um, gold and black anymore. Now it's just purple. So you can see that there and then his hands are purple in the new figure. And they were black in the old figure. And technically he had purple arms in the show. And then he had um, white arms in... They, they had the right arms for the new figure. So um, I've been waiting to do this um, comparison between them. Um, because, uh, I just had to get the DBX first. But, I mean, I really, really like this, um, character Pythor. It's awesome, and I'm so glad they made another figure for him because I really, really like his figure. Especially the new one. The new one looks amazing. And both of them are really, really great. And now we get, we do have one now for the Tournament of Elements. So, he's in the DBX. Um, maybe you can get him on eBay or something like that. 
or somehow if the bricks or piece bricks and pieces on lego.com ever becomes available for something like that you could do that as well but i mean there's sort of my um review or comparison of the new pythor minifigure along with the old pythor minifigure so I've, again i've been waiting to do this and i finally can um give you this comparison i don't know if anyone else has done one but this is mine my um, comparison on the new Ninjago 2015 Pythor minifigure and the old 2012 Pythor minifigure. So, um, what do you think? I mean, obviously big changes, but still the same awesome character we all know. So, um, yeah. So, hopefully he becomes a character at least a little bit next season. But, um, yeah, I really, really like this figure. Um... The DBX is a little expensive. It's $80, so you can get them in the DBX too if you just want to get the whole set. But again, if you don't want to get the whole set, maybe you could try finding his figure somewhere. But there, I mean, there's a comparison. I mean, yeah, so there's obviously shape and similarities and all that, but obviously color differences and all that stuff. So, and the new suit on the new Pythor. So there's my comparison. And, um,. What do you think about the new figures and what do you like the comparison between them? It seems like the gem got bigger on Pythor's head as well in the new figure than the old one. The old one has seems to have a smaller gem on his head there. So they changed the shape of that, but otherwise the printing looks like the same sort of uh shape. Maybe it like changed size a little bit. I don't know. But the molding obviously is the same. So what do you think? This is a comparison between the new 2015 Pythor and the old Rise of the Snakes 2012 Pythor minifigure.